In the dynamic world of relationships, it's not uncommon for a man to stumble into a moment of vulnerability, acting out of insecurity, jealousy, or neediness. Think of it like a sudden gust of wind that makes the sails of a ship waver. It's during these critical moments that the course of the relationship can drastically change. Picture it as a fork in the road, where one path leads to a deeper bond, while the other may lead to a gradual erosion of respect and connection. Make no mistake, women do date men they don't respect. But it's usually after they hit the wall, and they treat those men like absolute shit. Let's delve into these turning points and explore how to navigate them skillfully. The first step is crucial. Number one, redefine mistakes as stepping stones. When you realize you've made a misstep, it's important not to perceive it as a catastrophic failure, but rather as a learning opportunity. Listen, every L is a lesson. Consider it as a step on the staircase of personal growth. Just as a gardener learns from a wilted plant, you too can gain wisdom from your missteps and emerge stronger. How you perceive your mistake influences how she perceives you. If you believe it signifies a fundamental weakness, she might mirror this belief. However, if you perceive it as a temporary blip on your journey of self-improvement, she will likely respect your resilience and determination. Let's say you make the mistake of pillow talking, like a weak worm. Here's what you do. Go look at yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, I have been a pussy. Now nut up and never do it again. Don't pretend that you didn't make the mistake. Don't get mad at her for punishing your mistake. Just learn from it. Learn. Number two, embrace imperfect progress. Remember, growth is a process, not an overnight transformation. Similar to how a sculptor chisels away at a block of stone, you too are shaping your character. It's about progress, not perfection. Just as a painter perfects their brush strokes over time, you are honing your emotional responses, steadily minimizing insecurities and neediness. It's natural to encounter moments of weakness along the way, but the key is to strive for consistency in your efforts to evolve. This is where a lot of males struggle because the average man has significantly less conversations in their day-to-day -day life. Men used to have more conversations in the grocery store, at schools, and on the street. But in the modern world, men spend the majority of their time on their phones or looking at a screen. Keep in mind, women absolutely don't need to practice their conversational skills. They are the ones that get approached, and they still are having more conversations than the average male. The more you talk to women, the better you will talk to your woman. You can't be learning as you go when you get with a woman, because women like men that already have prior experience. Number three, balance authentic masculinity. While navigating these challenges, it's essential to maintain your authentic masculinity, neither suppressing it nor overcompensating for it. Imagine it as a delicate dance where you must neither step on your partner's toes nor take over the lead forcefully. If you tilt too much towards appearing overly dominant, it might resemble an actor overplaying their role, causing a disconnection between you. On the other hand, suppressing your masculinity could lead to a lack of assertiveness, resulting in a loss of her admiration. Keep in mind, women are natural bullshitters. They lie and pretend so easily. It's like second nature to them. They casually lie about almost everything. They say they have boyfriends or husbands when they are single. They lie about their age to get what they want. They wear makeup. The list goes on. So if you are acting or pretending to be masculine, you are going to lose this game. It's better to go out and become that first instead of pretending with the woman you truly want. Number four, assume respect and confidence. The delicate balance lies in assuming that you already have her respect. Think of it as a confident stride rather than a desperate plea for validation. Much like a seasoned captain commands a ship, you assume the role of a leader in the relationship without constantly seeking her approval. The natural assumption of respect exudes a quiet confidence that is far more attractive than pleading for it. You need to be confident in every aspect of the relationship, even when you know you are going to take an L. Take it with confidence. Always assume that the woman respects you and never try to seek her validation as if she doesn't. Number five, further resources and understanding. If you find yourself seeking more comprehensive guidance on nurturing respect, attraction, and love within your relationship, consider exploring specialized resources like the High Value Dynamics Instagram channel. 
From there, you can arrange a free consultation through DMs that typically are active based on availability. Some clients pay to skip the line. As a published author, I will probably make a book sometime down the line to help men if the channel continues to grow. And I will make it dirt cheap. I will just have to decide. You can also watch certain channels like FitX Fearless who offer consultations. Fresh and Fit Podcast also offers resources for men. They are like a one-stop shop for male self-improvement. Just be careful as some of their advice is not meant for everyone. It can be intense and sometimes too extreme for certain men. Number six, embrace the role of respect. Lastly, it's vital to recognize the nature of respect within a relationship. While respect in professional settings often needs to be earned through actions and accomplishments, in a romantic partnership, it's about assuming the role of a partner worthy of respect. Think of it like assuming the CEO position in a company rather than waiting for the board's approval. It's about embodying the qualities of a confident, reliable leader within the relationship, rather than anxiously seeking validation. Make no mistake, I always say this, women will date men that they do not respect, but it comes at a price. She will make your life a living hell. Do not settle for this. Number seven, don't be eager and don't be insecure. Don't be insecure or too eager. Respond to her inquiries in a playful manner, not literally. You know what confident men do when girls try to test them? They respond to her questions playfully while lightly teasing her, not in a serious manner, as if it were a job interview. Keep things lighthearted and fun. Don't take things too seriously and don't hesitate to engage in some playful banter. Let me make an example for all the dickheads who don't understand. If she asks you a question like, what do you do for work now? Instead of explaining to her how investment banking works, like a fucking moron. Respond with something very witty and funny. I'm a professional bikini inspector. Do you want to see my license? Or if she's a dickhead and she asks something like, what do you have to offer me? You can reply with, have you ever heard of UFOs? Wait for her to answer you and be patient. Then say, well, I have UBOs. After watching her be confused for a bit, reveal to her that a UBO is an unidentified big object. Making a woman laugh whilst maintaining a masculine frame is one of the biggest ways to make her gain respect for you. By incorporating these insights into your approach, you can steadily regain her respect and nurture a stronger, more fulfilling connection with her. Remember, it's a journey of self-discovery and growth, with each step leading you towards a more profound understanding of yourself and your relationships. Make no mistake, to aspire to greater achievements and reach unprecedented heights in life, Kindly consider endorsing this video by giving it a thumbs up, sharing it with a trusted companion and subscribing to our channel. Your support is greatly appreciated.